Welcome to sales ads campaign video. I will show you by running a new ad campaign. Hopefully if you watch the A to Z video, you can easily run such a campaign yourself. To create a new campaign, I am now in ad account from which I can run a new campaign. The first thing I need to do to create a new ad campaign is click the create button here. So I click the create button. There are many objectives here. From here I will select the sales object since we will be showing sales ads campaign setup. After selecting the sales objective, going to click on continue button. Here you can run campaign in two ways. One is the advantage and shopping campaign, which is the advanced campaign. Advanced campaign means this campaign for those who do not know how to set up a campaign manually at the basic level. Already set up from Facebook, so there is no chance to do customs here. You can run a new campaign by just clicking next from here. And manual campaign means you will manually select all options. In that case Facebook will have no hand. Anyway, I'm going to select manual campaign. So here we're going to select manual sales campaign and then press continue from here. Now write a campaign name here. It can be any name. But be careful that the name you give that you can understand the campaign later. In my case, since I created this video to show you guys, I will name it test campaign. Then click on categories and there are some drop downs credit, employment, housing, social issues, elections or politics. I'm not selecting these categories as our ad campaign will not fit into them. Next are the campaign details. Here the auction is in buying type auction but there are two options, auction and reach and frequency. So these two options have different functions. Auction means like auction in Bengali. If you watch movies, you will see that many times things are sold by auction. Like some may have said 1 lakh and some may have said 1 lash and 10,000. So the one who said 1, 10,000 won the auction. So Facebook works like this, auction based. That is, the one who wins in bidding will get the chance to place the ads. Then there is the objective. In this case, you can change the objective from here as well. That is, the ad objective sale that we have selected in the beginning. If you think that I will not run the sales ad, you can change it from here if you want. Then there is the use of catalog. The catalog is different, so I am skipping the catalog in this video. Click here for show more options. Here you can select the spending limit for the total campaign from here with campaign spending limit. But I don't want to so I'm skipping. Then there is a B test. A B test means here you can run two campaigns simultaneously to see which campaign is performing better. With like two videos you can do multiple tests with a B test. In my case I am skipping it. At the same time there is another option here is the advantage campaign budget. Advantage campaign budget is, when you create many ad sets, in that case, if you enable this option and put any budget here the budget of each ad set will be distributed from here. By the way these are a bit advanced topic so I will skip the topic here. Click on next button. Here is ad set name. Here also you had to give a name. In my case I am giving same name like before test campaign. Here is the conversion. You have to select the conversion location. Where are you actually going to get the conversion? There are different options like website and ad, messaging apps, calls etc. I will select messaging apps option. By the way by default, it is selected. Here I have to select the Facebook page on which I will run the ad. I want to give my ad on messenger only. If you want to give by any chance on Instagram or Facebook then select the rest of the platforms. Then there are performance goals. Here are a few goals in terms of performance goals. But by default here maximize number of conversions. I am not changing here because we usually want to maximize number of conversions. But if your wish is different i.e. If your goals are different, you can also select that from here. Next is cost per goal, i.e. how much you will cost per result. This is also an advanced matter, so I am skipping this matter for now. Then there is the budget and schedule. Generally, two types of budgets can be given on Facebook. One is the daily budget and the other is the lifetime budget. In the case I am selecting daily budget, I want to spend $15 per day. Then here is the schedule. In the case of the schedule, you can mention here the date from which you will run the ad. But in my case I am giving the start date as daily budget in that case I will set the ending date after understanding the performance of the ad. Then there is ad scheduling. In this case you can run ad for 24 hours if you want. 
If you want, you can select this time. Then the ad will show only at this time. Or it can be done that if you look at the ad report well, you can select the time according to which time your audience is more active, or by looking at their purchase behavior. Let's say one thing here, if daily budget is selected, ad scheduling will be off. To turn it on, you have to select lifetime budget. Only then will it be active. I am keeping a daily budget of $15. Then there are the locations. In terms of locations, Bangladesh is selected here by default. But I will give a specific city instead of Bangladesh here. For example I am selecting Dhaka division here. Then I will be able to show the ad of this product only in Dhaka. Click here for show more options. There is nothing much to change here. In the case of language, all languages are selected here. You can also change the language. Next is advantage plus audience. That is, in terms of audience, Facebook has given an advantage to those who are completely new. That is, if you don't want to, you can use Facebook's default advanced audience or you can manually create an audience without using the advantage audience. So we must do it manually. We don't want to give Facebook all the rights. This advance ads on Facebook is fit for all. That is, you buy a shirt but that shirt is ready made. Many people may use it. But if you go to Taylor, it won't fit anyone else. The same is the case with Facebook ads. If you accept the system they have created here, Facebook may not understand your needs. Anyway here an audience suggestion is optional. Here you can see many options. Like age here I will click on the edit button. Now it depends on who will purchase your product. In that way age mentioned should be done here. I give 18 to 50, you give yours. Anyway, in terms of gender, who will buy your product, if it is all gender then keep all. And if not then you can select men or women separately. In my case I am giving shoes ads and in that case I am selecting man. In terms of detailed targeting, if you click on browse here, you will see that there are three broad categories of detailed targeting. One is demographic, interest and behavior. So under these three categories there are a large number of subcategories. Sub again has subcategory. If you want you can also keep the broad category, it depends on your target. Just click on the drop down here and you will get the subcategories. Also, if you search, the categories will come up. So in my case I clicked on behaviors here and clicked on purchase behaviors here and clicked on engage partners here and ticked it. That is, I want this ad to reach people who mainly interested to purchase from the website. So, I am selecting this one for now. Then there is the placement. In terms of placements there is advantage plus placement recommended. That is, Facebook is recommending that ads should be shown on all its platforms. Facebook will want ads to appear on all its platforms. Then Facebook ad cost may high. But we will not give that opportunity to Facebook. We will manually select and tell you to show my ads on this platform. In this case I will manually check in the placement. If you want advanced placement for the test sometime you can see if the results are good. If it doesn't come then you can do manual placement test. Anyway, I'll remove Instagram from here. Total has 18 Facebook placements so far. Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, Audience Network all together. Out of that, I have selected Facebook and Messenger which has 10 placements. That is 10 out of 18 placements. But you can reduce the placement further if you want. I am no longer reducing placements in this video. I will keep 10 and do the next one. Besides, here on the right side, you can see the estimated daily result, that is, per day reach will be 15 to 44,000 people and conversions will be 35 to 101 per day. I am clicking next button from here. Here is ad name. For ad name you can give any name but I will maintain sequence here by writing test campaign ad. Ad setup there are three options. Create ad, use existing post and use creative hub mockup. I will keep the first one from here since we are creating a new ad. In that case I will keep the first one. Then here the manual upload is enabled. Format image or video it is ok. Multiple advertiser ad recommended. You can uncheck it if you want. It is better not to have multiple advertisers. In my case I am keeping it. Then I will click on add media from media, then add image. I will go to upload and I will select the image that I want to run as ad from the upload. Uploading the image. 
Then click on the next button here. Here you can see the preview on the right side. From here you can easily see how your ad will look like. Anyway, here are the headlines. In the headline, I will give the headline that is related to the product here. I had already worked out a bit about what the headline would be. But you should do these things before running each ad. Then these times will be saved when you sit on ad setup. So you should prepare these tasks in advance. I am pasting my prepared ad copy here. Which button you are selecting is also mandatory in case of call to action. Since we are running get message ads, we will click send message here. The text I put in the headline will basically go in the primary text. I'm just replacing it with. And I will make the primary test a little bigger. I am copying and pasting the words I wrote in the description into the primary text. If you want, you can go to the primary test and give the phone number or give a link to the website, but the link is not recommended. You can see the start conversion here. If someone comes to your page, the greeting message can be edited from here. How to show the ad can be seen from here. Since I am not linking the pixel, I will uncheck it for offline events. Then the pixel won't work anymore. From here, you can check the ad review to see how the ad is performing in different placements. Here you can see that I have come to the review. You can also edit later if you want. If you are doing client work, then I am sharing here how to show this preview to client. You just need to click on share button which is here. Then go to share link here. Then enable the button that is here link sharing is on enable it a link will be generated here. Now how many days to enable it depends on you. There are two options one is 30 days another is 60 days. I click here for 30 days. See here a link is generated. I will open this link in another tab. Click here to open in a new tab. But now here we can see how the ad will show on which platform. This way you can show your client before publishing the ad. You can easily copy this link by clicking the copy button. The ad set is easily straightened. Now click on the publish button to publish it. 